Well, you know, in the first two chapters of the book, I show how the real challenge in the spiritual life is to acknowledge, using the language of the peace prayer, is to acknowledge God as Lord and divine master. We're called to be God's servants who walk in the footprints of the divine master. Unfortunately, we're often hindered in our walking in the divine master's footprints by four obstacles that shape the selfish contours of our souls. You can remember these four obstacles with the acronym FACE, F-A-C-E. The F stands for fears. We're afraid that if we open up the door of our hearts to God's grace, that God will rearrange the furniture in our lives and call us to do the impossible. The A of FACE stands for attachments like the young rich man in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. We want to inherit everlasting life, but we are weighed down by attachments. In the case of the rich young man, it was his attachment to possessions. But for us, it could be attachments to unhealthy relationships, memories, or even unhealthy desires. The third thing that hinders us from walking in the footprints of the Divine Master, the C of face, is control issues. You know, instead of living a life of surrender and trust, we want to maintain control. And so because we maintain control, our lives are oftentimes filled with frustration. Frustration is caused by the refusal to let go of control and to trust. And finally, the E of face refers to a sense of entitlement because of our emotional investment in what we have, what we do, and what people think of us, we think we are entitled and deserve things like power, prestige, possessions, pleasure, and popularity. And so we stumble in the spiritual journey in following the Divine Master's footprints because of face, F-A-C-E, fears, attachments, control issues, and entitlements. And so in my book, Soul Training with the Peace Prayer of St. Francis, I highlight specific practices that help to reshape the contours of our soul. Each chapter ends with two reflection questions that can be shared with a trusted friend, with a spiritual director, or even with members of your book club. I also include a scripture passage to pray over, and I also use a quote or a story from the life of St. Francis that really illustrates the spiritual practice of that chapter. And finally, I conclude with a short prayer that can be used during the day as a reminder of the way that I want to live my life.